Good morning, everybody. Uh, happy Friday. This will be the last video of the week, and then I'm gonna take the weekend off and get ready for the week ahead. But uh, I hope that you guys are enjoying it. I have no clue what we're gonna do today, but we'll do something. I am just up making some breakfast. I have some leftover homemade bread from the day we had beef stew this week, so I'm making some avocado toast because I also have an avocado I need to use. We're supposed to get some lake effect snow at some point today or this evening, which should be a good time for all. And yeah, my shirt says, make yourself proud. It is from Self Care is for Everyone. I love them so much. We also have a doggy who knows that toast is being made. Toast? You like toast? Do you like toast? Oh, I love toast. So he is in the wings, waiting, <laughs> waiting. I'm just going to literally top my toast with some avocado and I think I'm going to use some everything but the bagel seasoning. And yeah, that's how we're starting the day off, right? Steven is home today and he is working from his home office. However, I think he's upstairs getting ready for a Zoom call right now, watching a little Rachel Ray. I also was messing in here. I ended up moving this vase over here, which I don't like it here. It's gonna move back to the table. But one thing that was on my mind is I didn't love I didn't love it with, I, I want to move this plant somewhere else in the house too. I don't love it with the competing terracotta pot that was back here. It was kind of bothering me, but I don't know where we're going to move that fella. He used to be doing really well. He had a really hard winter and just isn't doing so great. So maybe find a better spot for him. So we've been a week into our amazing pantry. I did, I don't know if I shared this with all of you. I ended up lining the shelves with felt pads. I'm telling you, we have used this hard. We haven't been ginger with it and everything is holding up really well, which thrills me. I think that adding the felt pads to the actual shelves will be a huge help. It also helped the basket slide a lot better, but I'm telling you, I still haven't cleaned this light. That is on the list today. I'm really, really happy with this. I want our bench to come. It's ordered. We're just waiting for it. All right, toast is complete. A lot of you ask us how we love our Brava oven. We use it for everything. I mean, it literally does everything, but we are really happy with it. Probably for Steven, this is probably one of the best buys in the last couple years. I forget how long we've had it now. Two years? All right, I'm gonna throw my avocado on, top it with some everything but the bagel seasoning, and we're gonna eat breakfast. And yes, I will give you some of mine. No worries. I know you love toast. I did end up moving the snake plant that was in the corner and that i i do like that way more i also think that the scale works more when there's not a huge pot there but now i do feel like i need like a basket or some sort of texture in that spot <laughs> constantly evolving constantly changing things up i grabbed one of these baskets i'll put it back but i just want to see if that's the texture that I like there, and it really is. I like how clean it looks, and it still helps like have that like earthy brown. I grabbed a couple other things, but I'm not sold on any of them. But I like the idea of a basket. This is just not the one. That, I think it needs to be a really structured basket, but I'm not willing to sacrifice what I have going on at this table. But I like the idea of something woven there. I think that works. I have this antique bowl that I bought at a thrift store. They gave me a really good deal on it because the inside was like literally destroyed, but I just painted it. So I have that. I'm also thinking I might paint the inside of this a different color. 
And then I have these vases that were originally over there. That's too much gold in this spot, so. I might move these over into this space. Yeah, I like those there. Hi, did you just come back from a walk? Did you just come back from a walk? All right, continue to play. The other thing that I'm thinking of attacking today is this table. This is not a well-made investment piece table. I don't even know if it's solid wood. I think the top is, but like, I think I paid less than $100 for it. And I don't love this wood right up against this one. So I'm thinking of giving this a coat of black paint. I think I'll like it a lot more. I'm gonna pick up the molding for the door and get a quart of black paint. All right, and then maybe swing by Target and see if I can find a basket there, but I'm not gonna tell anyone. All right, we are running to buy the trim for the pantry door. I'm probably not going to do that today. I'll probably do it tomorrow. And then we might run to Target as well to see if we can find a basket for that space. I actually really love the structure of that basket that I have in the entryway. I might actually just buy the same one. I'm also not opposed to like a really nice tiered tray if I found something. I just know it needs to have like, an, I, I think it needs to be a basket. I think I need the texture. And then also need to get some black paint for the table in the living room or I throw the legs on some paper plates and just go to town and paint it. But I think it needs to be black. So I need to find a good black paint. I'm not gonna go with cracked pepper, which you guys all know is like my favorite black, cause it's kind of a, kind of has like a cooler, lighter tone to it. I need it to be like a really good, like jet black because the black metal chairs are right next to it and they're a true, true black. So I'm going to definitely have to match that up a little bit, but I trust my eye. I know exactly what it needs to look like. And then I think I want it to stay with like a matte finish just because it needs to be. I'll probably do an exterior paint though. That's a little heavier duty. The other thing that's on my list is I love my yellow front door and we are going to keep it yellow. I think I want to deepen it just a hair. There's a beautiful color at Sherwin-Williams called B, and I think it's like the exact, it's like just, when I paint it, you won't even really notice the difference, but I'll notice the difference. I just want it to be a little bit deeper, so that's on my project more for the spring, because you really can't paint in cold weather. It will never dry. Especially when it's 20 degrees. So those are kind of the projects I have on my radar for Today, there's a thousand cars. Don't you hate it when you see a car and you're like, oh, I should wait. And then by the time it gets to you, you realize you and seven other cars could have gone in that time. That just happened. I mean, this is a long wait. This is the universe telling me to pause. <laughs> There's literally no end in sight. I'm gonna sit here for a little bit, so I'm gonna pull up one of the questions. I have them saved. Um, where do I get my inspiration from? I get it from all different places. Sometimes we've come back from a trip and I've been inspired to change something up. Sometimes it's scrolling through Instagram, I see something. I rarely use one inspiration picture though. Like I said, with the pantry, 
I get an idea but then I really do try to make it my own so what I ended up Google image searching is like really how I do it I don't do Pinterest boards and all that shenanigans what I Google image searched was dark pantries that's literally what I searched for and dark pantries came up and I kind of found ones that really spoke to me and then started oh this contact and then really started thinking about how I could make it my own, how I could construct it, what I could use that we would all have access to to construct it for beginner builders. Like I have no building expertise whatsoever. Everything you've seen me do within this new year has just been me willing to learn, try, and say if it doesn't work, I'll pull it out and patch it up and paint over it. That's really how I've been operating. Like if you told me I would be like ripping out moldings, buying lumber and building things in, I would say you were crazy. But I've really, really enjoyed it. And I feel like you guys have really enjoyed it as well. Also, I posted my first reels. I don't know if I answered the question. Anyway, I find inspiration from everywhere, but then I try to always make it my own. And I basically Google image search everything, find a couple jumping off points and then go from there. But what I was about to say is, I posted my first Instagram Reels ever. The algorithm in Instagram, if you wanna grow, you have to use more Reels, and I've been so nervous to try it, so last night I just dove in and tried it for the first time. I had so much fun making it. It turned out well for my first time. I realized the couple mistakes I made, which I can fix in editing, but I'm really pleased with it and I am going to try to be doing them more often and really do like styling tips and all of those. So the one I posted yesterday was around your fireplace mantle and kind of the tips and things I consider when doing that. All right, we are going to get the trim for the door. I need around nine feet for each side. Then I need to get black paint. I'm also gonna pick up a can of matte black spray paint. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about the jug on the table. I think I might want it to be black. I know people are saying like, wait till the spring. Eh. I know my style. I can, I can play with different colors in there, but uh, I just think for our home, a matte black jug would look better. And that's the thing. I always, I think this is another point of like inspiration and design. Even at Pottery Barn where I'm gonna invest a little bit more in a piece, if I love the shape and the texture of it, I am willing to pay the price and paint it. I think you have to not look at things just as what they are and think about like what they can become. So when you see something that, like a wicker basket at Target or somewhere at Home Goods and it's not the color, think about how you can stain it. Think about how you could paint something. Think about this sculptural element that doesn't match any of the color schemes, but with one coat of primer and one coat of spray paint, you completely change the vibe of it to fit your space. I think I never look at things for what they are in that moment. I think about like how it can be shifted or changed or adapted. Uh, mounting a sculptural piece on a block of wood that's stained and distressed can completely change something up. So I always look at things from that perspective and not so much of like what I'm actually buying. I always think about how I can change it. For me, it is all about the form and texture over the color because that is so fixable. All right, going to get our trim, going to get our paint, going to get all the things needed to wrap this up. We are, well I am, back from Target and uh, also a run to the hardware store. So I got my black paint. I got a can of matte spray paint. This is my favorite, the two-time Rust-Oleum. It has the paint and primer included and I love their flat black. I also got a roller. And then I also found this really cute little pedestal thing that I thought was adorable at the dollar bin. I'm gonna stain this a different color, but I thought that was like a cute moment. I really think it's adorable. And then I picked up a smaller basket and also the larger one. I definitely like the idea of now having this little trio, but I didn't know if I felt like I needed a second one. I have another space to use that in. 
No, I just think the one is enough. Also, we got a delivery and I'm really excited about this. And I'm gonna leave them linked. It's called Beacon Threads and I want you to see what I got. First thing I picked up was this red hoodie and it says love one another. Then I grabbed this one because I thought it was, I love the color combo and I just love the message. It says, God, I let go, do your thing. Then I grabbed this one that says love never gives up. And then I got this hat that says give thanks. I got pray more, worry less. And then I did get a mask that say all things work together for the good. Love them. I'm gonna leave them linked below. Super rad company. I love them, but super excited about all this. The other thing I grabbed, these are technically outdoor pillows. They're from the launch of Studio McGee that's happening I think on Sunday, but my target ended sitting things out a little bit earlier. I know I put want to put one there. They're outdoor pillows, but I'm pretty obsessed with them. Did a light sanding and threw on the first coat. 100% the right decision. Also, can 100% verify that people who are panicking about painting solid wood, I just saw the underside of this table. Trust me, the tabletop is not solid wood. I do believe the legs are though, but really happy with it. Dark colors will take a little bit more coats and it'll look a little bit splotchier. And I've not gone in with an angle brush yet and cut in to any of the corners. I'm gonna do that shortly, but right call. I think it's going to be beautiful against there and this is going to pop so much more. Here is a prime example friends. I grabbed one of my favorite stains which is American Walnut I believe. It's my go-to for everything. Look how different the base of that little three dollar stand. This was just being held in by like two, I think I set them over here, by two tiny screws. So I took it off the stand. I'm gonna let it dry completely. And then we'll refasten it. But it now looks so much more expensive than what it was. And then the little dollar store stand I put in that corner and I love it there. Still think I'm gonna end up giving this a spray coat of matte black. The texture will still come through. It's still gonna be amazing. What I don't love is like this blue color that's coming through. I love this change on the table. I just love that it ties together the black chairs. I like how it pops against the couch. Really, really happy with it being black. Amazing. I also, it needed to happen. Um, it's still a little wet in spots because I ended up doing like a variation of spray paint and some matte black paint because I want it to have a little bit of flex to it, but I'm already so much happier with it. It needed to be black. Getting the greenery in there, it's going to be amazing, but it needed to happen. I'm also watching Firefly Lane, trying to get into it. I'm about three episodes in. I've been listening to it. I'm enjoying it a little bit. It's not completely sold on it yet. Lastly, I also think I'm gonna hit this with a coat of spray paint as well, just because it's too yellow of a gold and it always stops me from using it. So I'm gonna hit it with some spray paint and see if I like it a little bit more. I just put the greens in there. It's perfect. I love it. I also love that I moved those plants from the background now. I like the texture of that basket. It is exactly as it should be. I am thinking this summer of spray painting these chairs matte black as well, but I'm so happy with it. Oh, I feel like the theme of today's vlog is don't be afraid to change things. Just go for it. Guess what? If I didn't like it black, I could just paint it a creamy white again. And then this table looks so much better black as well. Oh, little changes make a huge difference. We are going to pour some Prosecco. This is my favorite one, La Marca. 
It's so good. And it's actually really reasonably priced. I'm still in my paint shirt. I'm about to cheers to some Prosecco, but I think we can take this week and all the little DIY and home adventures and learn some actually really important life lessons. If you don't like something, you can change it. And if you don't like it, it's always fixable. All things are fixable. And we will continue to navigate this year together and fix things we don't like and give new things a try and learn and grow along the way. I'm gonna sign this off like I end all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others and be kind. Kindness is free, give to everyone. Until next time, which will be soon, but it won't be tomorrow. Bye-bye, cheers.